Okay, before the video starts, boys, please never play with these fucking settings. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna show you guys how to change the field of view, and then I'm gonna show all main game settings. Um, so you guys don't look like little bobs. Okay, first of all, if you guys are on PC, of course, go here, click on properties. Also, if you guys want to copy my launch options, I'm gonna leave the, all the commands in the description. I only use three of them. Um, if you guys go to installed files, click on browse, go to shoot game, save it, config, windows, um, to game user settings. Click there, and you guys need to search for field of view or FOV multiplier. Normally it's on 1.25, this is the default one. So just change this number to 4, 1.45. Click here, save, close, close, close. That's it, you can start the game. So now you have like a, a nice field of view. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys um, my settings. So your chair looks like this. If you are on third person, you see, if you move left and right, your chair follows the fucking camera. So it's easier for you to, you know, to control the fucking crosshair and looks way better. Also, the field of view looks different. You guys see, you have a nice field of view and looks looks clean and the camera is always on the left this is like personal preference if you guys want to have the camera this one off you guys can play like this to be honest it's not needed to change it but in my opinion you know when you have like a gun on your hands your child gonna be on the left side so I prefer to be always on the left side so you don't lose the fucking you see your crosshair chains um, when you are on third person like this with no gun you take your gun it changed so in my opinion for me I prefer third person camera offset on so looks like this and always you see your crosshair never changed. This is way better. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys now like all my other settings. Audio, it's personal preference. You, you guys can copy this. I use these settings, I don't care. Um, video, now I play on 1920 by 1080. I think it's a nice resolution. It's not like super stretch and looks really nice. It's easier to hit shots. You guys can use any resolution. I play on Windows full screen. Because I stream, so it's easy to tap out. Um, I cut my frames in 240. I use uh, DLSS on on performance. Uh, resolution scale is on 90. It's, it's off. Vsync off. Graphics. I normally play with this on Epic or Medium. Medium gonna give you more FPS, of course. Um, all the other settings are on low. Same with this, all these settings are on low and off, you guys can copy all if you guys want. This is like personal preference, you guys don't need to copy these settings, but if you guys want to copy, um, it's on you. And camera, camera settings, just copy all, sensitivity, your choice, I play with 1.1 one one and 400 dpi on my mouse, but you guys can use any sensitivity. Um, just make sure you guys copy these settings. This one is important, this one is important, this one is important. This one off, out of them. My camera field of view, 140, you guys already know how to do it. Um, camera shake on zero. A first person writing off. So basically this is my all my settings in game. Um, make your game looks looks better, looks nice. Okay, now we're gonna see the difference in FPS. This is the game with Alon Low, basically, um, and zero commands. This is like, I'm getting 140, 150 FPS on this area. Um, 
yeah so this is how the game looks 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 nice but i hate the fucking clouds looks looks like shit to be honest i don't like that the game don't looks like smooth or clean um this is how the outside looks looks nice but you can get two times more fps with an eye and eye i'm gonna show you the difference soon so this is how the outside looks and now i'm gonna show you how the water looks okay this is how the water looks looks nice but let's be honest it's impossible to see outside like even if you're trying to dive somewhere you can see shit if you go outside it's hard to see so i don't really like it but looks nice and now we're gonna show the difference with I and I and no I and I. Okay, this is how the game looks with no I and I. And now, boom. 250, 260 FPS. I get two times more FPS with an I and I. And the game looks way better. Look, you only render the closest areas. Fucking structures looks nice. Like everything looks nice, looks clean. You can see drops. The game feels amazing. Feels perfect. So, yeah, that's why you need an I and I. Now I'm gonna show you how the the water looks. This is this is how the game looks with the with the I and I and normal water. Looks blurry, but if you use these commands only two of them your game looks clean and you can actually see if you want to to look for some fucking alpha dinos under the water this made your game looks clean under the water okay boys and this is how you can make your game runs a little bit better you at least can get like two times more fps depends on your pc of course don't expect like 300 fps if you're playing a fucking potato um but yeah, you can get at least two or three more FPS if you're playing a potato. But if you have like a decent or like medium or like good PC, you can get two times more FPS, 100% with good settings. Like settings are really important in this game. Uh, I'm gonna leave all the commands um, on my Patreon and Discord for free. Also, I have like uh, different settings to improve your performance in game. If you guys want to support, um, yeah, you join the Patreon. Um, make sure to follow me on Twitch. I stream almost every day. Um, yeah. Bye, boys.